in this discussion you can see how to get information from the Odoo's configuration file in case you are not using the configuration file then by default Odoo's all the commands default value you will get from backend side let's see how to get the information from the configuration file let me move to the editor let me show you the configuration file here okay yes here you can see this configuration file by default all the parameters having a default values like which database we are using here then after the port number then after what is the hard memory and soft memory and what how many workers we are using right now it's a zero so all the informations you will get from the python end and based on that you can also use from configuration file let's say you want to create your custom command then you can use from here first we will try to get the information from this con configuration file then after we will move to the how to create new custom parameter okay so i'm going to in terminal and this is our terminal using or do a cell command and uh, let me show you like first all the parameters you want to get then we need to import one package from by default odus config uh, this odus directory so let me import like from odoo sorry odoo import then after tools after we have to use like tools dot config then after we have to use here the all the options from so here you will get the information from this configuration file let's say if you want to change uh, check the which database you are using right now then you can use simply like this way and you will get this information like odoo underscore 14 this one then after like what what is the database password if you provided in configuration file here then it will written here like right now it's false so we are not using then after what is my add-ons path here so you can use add-ons path so you will get all the informations like the default odoo path then after custom odoo path here then after if you want to get the information about worker then you will get like something like this worker and you can see here it's rise one error because this is a wrong command name and if you go here in down downside you can see it's a workers so let me add the proper name the right name and you will get the information something like this and if you don't want to use something like this then we have one more option here like tools cli then after this is the variable name right now i'm using like tools then after config then after we have to use options so what options will do is it will convert all this command into a dictionary and once I will enter and let me print this CLI variable you will get all the informations in dictionary so you can also easily get the informations using dictionary and uh, here you have all the commands value let's say this worker and uh, here you can use the get like workers and in case by mistakenly I added the wrong name from this dictionary it won't be rise the error wrong CLI name and you can see here and once I will do like workers then it will give me the result something like this then let me get the db max connection 
so it's uh, 64 by default and if you see here like this db max connection is 64 so all the informations you will get from this configuration file using this tool command uh, this tool package and this is inside this odoo directory you can see here this one sorry and we are using this one this config so we are using this one to get all the informations of this default configuration file and might be you will confuse because I'm using this term from terminal and uh, if you want to get the this information from the button click event it is also possible using the same way uh, let me show you how let me open this student profile in models and here we added one custom method this one if you remember and here we are doing the same thing like I'm just commenting this lines of code and here let me first let me import field tools and as tl like tl dot options then after print cli commands and here we are print one more thing is cli command then after dot db name db user db password then after add-ons path and you can see here one more thing is db filter db filter and let me restart the service first open any profile and let me click to this button oops we have error options sorry we forgot here the config file I'm sorry this config and then we have to use options let me go to here and uh, try to click this button again one more time and it's successfully executed and uh, you can see here like we have we will get all the information from this configuration file this is our database name user we didn't define that's why it's written as a false then after the password also we didn't mention over there and uh, and it's written as a false then after this is our add-ons path including the custom add-ons then after you can see here like we didn't mention the db filter here that's why it's coming as a blank string and uh, that's it and if you still confused like what is it please rewind this discussion and still if you do, didn't get this feature please comment below and now we are going to in configuration file here and uh, there is a one scenario let's say you have to add some custom key which you uh, that key you want to use entire odoo as a configurable then this file is very useful 
so let me show you how to add some custom configuration commands here let me uh, let's say web lens and my my value is something like this tutorials web lens author something like this and one more thing is if you are using G, uh, if you are using google services or aws services and you want to configure your all the configuration parameters like ss keys secret keys and all you can also add here if you want also the path the backup path or your custom path whatever you want to add you can add something like this way and what we have to do here is we just go to here and print here like cli commands then after dot get web lens then after author something like this sorry spelling mistake here and we must have to restart the service as well as let me exit from this terminal as well as and uh, from here let me restart the service fast and let me go to front end side and click to this button it successfully executed it means there is no any error and if you see you can see this tutorial for this web lens command and for this web lens author you can see it's uh, this one my name and uh, this is our new custom commands this is only for the demo purpose only for the tutorial purpose you can add anything here if you want to use any values from your configuration file to your entire project you can use something like this way and let me show you from the terminal side from odoo import tools as tl then after tl config and then options then after we will use this get method let's say web lens and press enter key you will get this information something like this way and yeah one more thing is you can also change the values from runtime but it won't be effect in here it won't be effect here in configuration file let's say uh, I, I i want to change this web lens value i don't want to use as tutorials then what i will do is simple something like this like key name it means command name then after like odoo tutorial and once i will close this file and reopen this file so you can see still its old value is here but in your project this whenever you are changing this configuration options then you will get always this one not this one so let me show you how see this auto tutorial then after this get also you can change runtime if you have some dynamic value then you can simple use like this way and uh, let me move to here in python side and uh, let me print sorry let me add let me add it from here in button click event like web lens equal to odoo tutorial 
and if tl dot config options dot get web lunch equal to equal to tutorial if this is matched then we will try to rename is odo tutorial and then we are trying to print one more time and uh, here let me restart the service first go to in front end side and trying to click this one this button okay it's successfully executed and uh, let me show you see the first time it was tutorials then after again it is tutorials because we print this statement this variable so it won't be changed the variable and let me show you one more thing here is tl.config options and then weblands we are trying to comment these two lines here and again trying to restart the service and go to here and click to this button successfully executed go to backend side you can see ops we did one more time one mistake here and that is like this single quote we are getting output as this one now let me restart the service first and go to here and click one more time and you can see like we are getting this tutorials first and then odo tutorial now once i will go to again front end side and click one more time you can see the first one is also odo tutorial and the last one also odo tutorial because the value we changed as runtime you can see odo tutorial and odo tutorial so something like this way you can also get the information from the configuration file also you can add your own configuration command here and you can use in your entire Odoo project. I hope this discussion will be very useful for you. In case you have any doubt, please comment below and see you in next session.